Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4 we are building an author's home. Um, at least that's probably what I'm going to call it in the title. But this is for my sim Clover. Um, if you're aware of my ABC Legacy Challenge, Clover is the sister of the heir and she is pregnant with Penny Pizzazz. So I thought, you know, they could move in together obviously because I am not going to take care of that baby. Um, so yeah, I built her a house. Um, it's in Delso Valley. I don't really build here because the lots are so big. I feel like it would have been nice if they gave us a lot of, or just small lots. They're all so big. Like, there's really not a lot of lots. So I guess, like, in this case, it would be very nice to make this, like, a residential rental. But, like, sometimes you don't want to build multiple units and etc. You just want to build one unit. So it would have been really nice if they gave us, like, a 20 by um 15 uh 20 by 30 or, th or 30 by 20 however you want to say it but yeah they're so big so i don't really build here even with like a backyard that i gave her it's probably not that big but yeah the whole right side is basically empty um so yeah but clover is a writer and penny Mazaz, i believe is in the social media career um i didn't really give her like a whole setup i don't know what she does i'm thinking maybe she's into fashion but like at the end of the video i was like oh maybe um penny pizzazz has like a little shed in the back that she works out of but i forgot and that did not happen even though i thought about it at the end it did not happen in the end so there's that but i believe there's two bedrooms there's one office two bathrooms pretty simple and i did use a lot of packs of course um and I think I used probably like a lot of the life and death stuff just because it's new, obviously. Um, so I used the stuff in the living room. I used it in the bedroom, the office. And that's pretty much it, I think. But yeah, um, I like this house. I think it's cute. It's nice. It's lovely. Um, I will say I'm not going to stay for the whole video. Like I'm not going to do a voiceover for the whole thing just because it's 34 minutes and... I don't know it's just that's like too much i don't understand why this small house this one story house took me three hours to build like i think that's insane it took me three hours oh my gosh i was like oh this is definitely going to be one story only because i don't have time to build a two-story house because that's going to take too long and look at it it took me three hours to build this and it's probably because it's one, a big lot, obviously. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't give her a backyard, but it feels kind of boring not to give her a backyard. So I gave her one at the end. So that's cool, I guess. That's cute. That's fine. Um, also, I don't know. I want to say I don't really build in this style. And if you look at the houses around this area, um, I don't really, I don't do styles. So I don't know what to call them. But the one in the back right, like in the back, um, in the background, it's kind of this vibe. It has like the same roof. So that's kind of what I went for. But most of them don't look like this. Um, they just look very maybe craftsman. I don't know. Suburban. I don't know. They look like a basic house basically to me. So not like this. Um. I don't know, I feel like this could definitely be a basic house, you just have to change the colors and probably the roof swatch. Again, I don't do styles, I pretty much just build with what I feel looks good together. I don't really stick to one style because I feel like that probably puts too much pressure on someone, especially if you're going for this one style and then people are in the comments like, that is not this. So it's just, I build with things that just look good. I don't really care to stick to one style. Um, so hopefully that is okay. But yeah, I also try to do this trick where you put like the roof connected to the garage, I guess. So it looks like it's sloping down. But I saw that just doesn't look good. It looks, I probably should have put it like at the end of the lot and that would probably look better. But at the end of the day, I probably wanted to put a fake car there and obviously it would clip. I could have used tool, I guess, but I just didn't think it was worth it. Um, at the end, I just thought maybe it's not worth it. Um, I don't know. It's just, I guess I could have also played with the terrain paint, but 
I am not good with the terrain paint tools or the terrain tools in general. Um, I can terrain paint, um, but the tools I just can't do. Also, I looked in debug for fences and there's this like beautiful stone fence and it's so beautiful. I love it. I'm just figuring this out. Like, why is this my first time seeing it? But I think it looks so good. So I'm glad I found it. I definitely need to look and debug a little bit more, especially for the plants. Like the base game plants are cute. I just feel like I don't rely on it that much, especially when I'm building a home for someone I'm not going to play with because I don't really care about the budget, of course. So, you know, I just use everything. I use stuff that I can just buy, you know, because that's easier. But I do have better to buy, so it's not the worst thing in the world to look at the live edit mode stuff. So that is cool. But yeah, I feel like I wouldn't stay this long outside. I usually would probably jump to the inside right away, but nope, I did not. And I also gave them a fountain. I'm pretty sure I keep it. I don't know. I feel like I don't, but I probably do. But yeah, I gave them a cute little fountain feature. I thought that was nice. And I surrounded it with plants. I thought that was cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should build in Delso Valley a little bit more because I don't really build here ever. I feel like, I mean, I played here one, a couple of times. Um, on my PS4, I played here with like a short legacy that I started, but I never finished. It was like the first generation. And my thought process was like, oh, she makes money through um, yoga. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of boring to me. Um, just making money that way because it can be very repetitive um, because you're just doing the same thing over and over. Like, even if you do, like, the massages and the pedicures, I feel like it's just, like, the same thing over and over again. So, um, it's not really- that wasn't for me, but, like, I don't know. Yeah, that was fun. She played on this lot. Um, I played here again with, again, another save on my PS4, the Career Legacy Challenge. Um, my sim was a photographer and I had fun. She was so cute, so beautiful, and I really wished I- I don't know, I really wish I had her. I kind of want to remake them, but I feel like that's hard to try and remake a sim. Like, it's just so hard, you know, it's just rough. Like, it's just rough. But I could try, I guess, because she was really cute. Um, and her kids were cute, and her parent was cute. I really wish I added the sim that I made to the gallery, because I could definitely remake her that way. Um, because, I don't know, I don't want to explain it, but it's too much to explain. So basically, I guess I should explain it. I don't need to. It's not that serious. I don't know. I'm going to explain it anyways. Um, so on my PS4, my career legacy save, um, I did have the sims, like, uploaded to the gallery. Uh, so I couldn't take that sim to remake them, but I don't know. But anyways, on my PS4, um, I was playing with my career legacy challenge and this was like my third attempt probably so i took one of the siblings from my second attempt and i made a sim for her to date and yeah so they had a kid together they had noel noel was with um i think one of the beta children from san maishuno i probably said the last name wrong so i could probably easily get someone from that household to have a baby with like one of their children um and that would be good and then that child I forgot her name but then she had a baby with one of the um oh I can't I don't know how to pronounce it but um it was from like the Solani family um Makoa and Liliana I think they had a child she had a yeah, so she got with one of their children and had a child. They had twins, actually, and then that's where I left off. But they were so cute. Um, I would just... I don't have that sim on the gallery that I made for the first generation. So, yeah, that sucks. Oh, I hate it so much. It's so bad. I'm so sad about it. It makes me angry. Like, it just makes me so angry. Like, Noel had a twin brother. I'm pretty sure she had, like, a younger adopted sibling. I really want them so bad. Like, I don't know if I should like spend time remaking them or if I should just, I still have the saves, thankfully, cause I thought I got rid of them, but no, I backed them up on Google Drive, thankfully. So like in my head is like, maybe I could get my hands on a PS5 
and upload them to gal upload them to the gallery that way. It's just like obviously it's gonna take too long to like download all the packs, cause I would not. I don't want to redress them. I think they should stay in the clothes they are, so that way they're more, you know, them. But we're finally moving on to the inside. I just I want to cry. I just I really wish I knew in my heart that you couldn't bring over console save files to PC. I really wish I knew that um, before I got rid of my PS4. Because um, like when I got my PC, I was like, oh, I'm still going to play on my PS4. That did not happen. Um, I was just on my PC at that point. I didn't even go like, that's so sad. Because I was like, oh, I'll just bring them over when I get all the packs again. And yeah. Um, yeah, I hate that so much. Uh, it's the worst. It's the worst. And also, like, I'm playing Dreamlight Valley, and I also had to start over with that. Because I thought on my PS4, they made you, like, connect to an Epic's game account. But for some reason, it doesn't link, I guess. I don't really understand, but, you know, that's fun. Um, but I guess it's fine. It's whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. My Valley is looking so ugly. I know they're doing new updates, which I'm very excited for. I believe the update with the, like, the floating islands come out in December. That is so long from now. Okay, maybe it's not that long. It's November 11th, so maybe it's not that bad. And they're also coming out with a new expansion pass, which I'm not going to get because I just got the Rift in Time, which I was going to wait to get it, but it was on sale for, like, I think $20 or not. Yeah, $20 maybe. So I was like, oh, I just, I should get it now while it's on sale. So why not? And I really hate the fact that, um, because I think they were selling like the game and a rift in time in a bundle. So like you would unlock like a house and an outfit and an animal, I think, and a lot of moonstones. But yeah, that's the only way you could get it, like the gold edition. But it's like, I already have the game. I'm not going to pay more just so I can have like that beautiful house, but I just, I think it's weird how, I think that's just stupid, but I feel like if you already have the game, maybe you could just give, I mean, you have to have the game to have Rift in Time anyways, so I guess I kind of understand why they did it, but it just sucks, it sucks, it really does suck, but yeah, I use like the new um, rug in here, I use like the cabinet pieces, um, the, I got, I don't know, to make like a TV stand, a floating cabinet, I don't know, um, what I'm saying. I also use like the new bookshelves, I think those were cute, and I decided to use tile in here because I don't really build like that, I don't really have tile in other places besides the bathroom, so I decided to give that a spin, and I do like it. Um, and then there's like a closet next to the front door. I was gonna make it a half bathroom, but I was like, maybe you don't need a half bathroom. So I just put like the attic box in there. I put like a mirror and a plant and that's pretty much it. I put up some photo collages. So that is nice for them. And yeah, so I actually cut out the main bathroom or not the main bathroom, but I cut out the ensuite bathroom just because I don't know, it took me it didn't take me that long, but the video was, I only like cut out three minutes worth of this video. It was 37 minutes, now it's 34 minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna be when I do the tour, but yeah, I just cut out three minutes. Like what was the point? But I just thought to do that because at one point I paused my recording and yeah, so you didn't really get to see the full thing anyways. But I did this cool trick where I like, cut, or I put a basement and I put this sink on the first floor and then in the basement I raised up these counters so that way it looks like the sink is kind of floating or I guess or on top of the counters. I don't know if that makes sense but you'll see it in the tour video but I don't know. I wanted her to have cabinets but I wasn't look I wasn't liking how the regular sinks looked so I used like a regular sink so that should work. Um, it worked before. I, I made a whole shorts video on it if you want to go check it out on how to do that um if you want to see an example i guess um but yeah um i guess we're working on the dining room now um pretty cool pretty nice pretty sweet i was thinking about using the new um live and death chair but i just wasn't feeling it 
Um, and yeah, the dining room is pretty small, obviously. Um, just because this home is very small. I don't feel like I never like have closed in rooms. Like it's always open for or for no open floor space, I guess. Like it's a very open plan, you know. It's not really a closed off dining room, a closed off living room, a closed off kitchen, closed off entryway, like it's all pretty much open. So I feel like I probably should build a house where it's all closed in because I feel like that makes it easier to like um, clutter it for one. It makes it look a, a lot more cozier um, and not have so much open space. Um, so I think it's nice to do that. But now we're working on the kitchen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess the kitchen is okay. It's okay. I don't, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. Um, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyways. Oh, I also used the new stools from Life and Death. They look so cute. I was trying to go for gold, but I don't think I ended up going for gold in the kitchen because I just didn't like it. Um, also, there are some gaps in the counters at the end because, I don't know, it's fine. Hopefully that doesn't annoy you, but I wanted the, um, the stove to be centered with the sink. So it just ended up being like that because if I added those like tall end pieces to the end, it would have like clipped. Weirdly, they're, they're already clipping in with the counter, but you can't really see it that much from the front view. So hopefully that is fine as well. And yeah, I think I am going to end this part here. Um, hopefully you enjoy the music and I will get back to you guys when I give you the tour.
So here's the home in Del So Valley. So it is fall time. So the landscaping may not look so good, but in the front we just have hopscotch. We have some benches. We have our fig cars and real bikes. We also have this beautiful fountain. And then on the porch, we just have our mailbox and our rocking chair. And then on the outside over here, we just have a swing set, our trash can. And then in the backyard, we have some planters, a bee box, a flower arranging table, a blanket, a bar, and a nice little pool. We have a seating area and we also have some lounge here. And then on the back porch we have a grill and another seating place to eat. And then yeah, I did give them an attic space but there's nothing in there. It's just for fun. It's for the looks. But once you walk in, on your right you have this closet space which I put an attic box. You have your thermostat, a coat rack, and then you have your little entrance table. Honestly, I probably should have put some light switches but it's a little too late for that but we have our umbrella rack i love this little space and then yeah you pretty much walk into the living room area so you have a place to put your photos very simple in here and then on this side you just have your very simple dining room table and then back here you have your kitchen space so hopefully you like it it's simply cluttered it's not too much going on but yeah i like it i gave you like a little kettle and then this is like the main bathroom i guess for everyone to use Oh, I did not give you a mirror. That is so embarrassing. Obviously, this bathroom was not that important to me. Hopefully, you can forgive me. I, I just forgot, okay? Okay, hopefully that is better. But yeah, that's the main bathroom. And then this way, you have the main bedroom. Yeah, so I use like a lot of the life in depth stuff. Just the bed, the rug, and the little table over here. That's pretty much it, but it's so cute, right? And then this is their ensuite bathroom. So they have their toilet with some beautiful clutter. They have a nice walk-in shower and then this is the sink so as you can tell i put the counters in the basement and i just raised it up so she should be able to like use the sink in here so yeah it still works thankfully that is good and then this way you have a hallway with your family bulletin board and then on your left this is the office space you have a chess table a computer a corporate board and some bookshelves and then over here is the nice little nursery room it's pretty cute it's also very very simple but yeah that is like pretty much the full build hopefully you guys enjoyed it so i'm gonna upload this for you guys it's two bedrooms two bathrooms and i just called it author's home if you want to download this it's on my gallery at sims delicious but i think this is the perfect place to end this off so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye